Hey guys, it's Mike, and today I have some exciting news to share with you. There's been a bit of a breakthrough on the XTEC Vita port here. Now, regarding two of the biggest problems with the initial versions of the port that you guys saw, first of all, there was no sound, which is kind of a big deal. Sound is such a huge part of, you know, Mario games and this game in general. Uh, sound and music together. And the other one was performance. And performance... I'm not going to say it's perfect yet, you're definitely still going to run into some slowdowns here and there, but just by enabling compiler optimizations. Now, up till now, you've seen the game in full fat debug mode, absolutely zero compiler optimizations applied, and now that I'm realizing how great compiler optimizations can be, I'm kind of shocked that it ran as good as it did in the first place. But So this is now with at least compiler optimization level 2. Uh, I'm not sure that it's level 3, uh, but we do have optimizations on. I do not have any kind of fast math on for this project. I also don't have any kind of floating point unit tuning uh, like Vita GL has. Vita GL does have that enabled, but for the actual game itself, it doesn't. We're just going to go ahead and start this up, and uh, you are getting the video through the capture card. However, audio, I could not find an extra audio cable, and I don't even think this computer has a line in anyway, so you're just going to hear it through the microphone, which is probably better anyway. All right, so that's a sound we haven't heard before, and now we'll just have to let the loading screen pass by. Now, as always, FPS counter will be in the top left corner. This is directly from the Vita's hardware. This is not any kind of counter I implemented. And I should remind you also, the Vita is at its stock clock speeds on everything right now. I'll show you that in a second. And we've got title screen music now too. That's exciting. This is something else we've never had before. Sounds pretty good on the Vita speakers, and as you can see, we're at stock clock speeds right now. Uh, so there's still some I.O. stutter here and there, especially when loading in a lot of new graphics. But once it gets over this initial hump, and I believe you'll even be able to see it go back to the beginning now. You'll recall that before, going back to the beginning, like, you couldn't. It ran at about 17 frames per second. That, that was 60 frames per second smooth. So... Let's load the Invasion 2, and I'll load the save that I've been playing on for a while now on the Vita, just to show how solid the save system's been. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you what the floating brick niche looks like now. So we recall before that, shortly after getting into this level, uh, we had some problems with slowdown. See, we still get some stutter there when loading in new files, but for the most part, it's responsive and playable, holding 60 FPS. It looks amazing on an OLED Vita. Uh, definitely by now we would be uh, losing our frame rate, yeah. We'd easily be dropping into the 40s right now. But, you know, this is running at 60 frames per second now with optimizations on. This is really nice. And now I'll just go ahead and I'll launch some, launch some shells here. We'll start with you. Sound effects are keeping up nicely. Sound effects, sound and music are running on their own thread anyway, so. Let's see, I need to go down here first. And we just... Broke all those bricks without dropping any frames. Well, we might have dropped a couple. I wasn't really looking, but you know, we're not going down to we're not going down to 30, 40 frames per second in a Super Mario game like we were before. And we've got sound now, which is always exciting. Cool. Let's finish this level. And even into this section, once you got into this section, it was pretty slow. playing on a computer screen while expecting it to be perfectly in sync with the Vita over USB. Although I will say it's surprisingly playable. Nice. 
it definitely looks better on the Vita screen than it does on my own monitor. That's kind of crazy. I would show you Dungeon of Pain, but that's one you've seen before. Let's go a little farther into the world. As you can see, single screen levels work beautifully with proper black bars. Okay, so this is Pwnhammer. This is one of my personal favorite worlds. I'll just go ahead and save the game real quick. One of my favorite levels, actually, in the invasion. This is a, a bit of a taxing level, for sure. And you'll see why in a second. Definitely runs a little faster than uh, I remember it. I think this is a different song than what was actually in the original game, though. Damn it. <laughs> Got lucky that I landed on that platform. And the Vita handled it perfectly. So I'm getting pretty close to a release, I think, with this. And I'll let you guys know when it's ready for download. And I'll show you guys how to download it and install it with all the stock assets and everything. So stay tuned for that.